right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least at this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make positive contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy wants to, that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. This, our main event of the evening. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the Octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, Pepper Namasaya. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Why, well, what else can you say about the Russian boxer, Pyotr Jan? We'll see if he can get off to a pretty good start in this round. You know, at times he will go through a little bit of a feeling out process, try to get his reads, but when he goes, he might just be the best bantamweight in the world. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Nice straight right, Lance. Head kick lands for this guy. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Pyotr Jan. Straight punch is true. Upstairs, upstairs. All right, so Pyotr Jan at times a slow start. We'll find a way to early tonight. And that's out of the norm for Pyotr Jan. As you said, He's a guy that starts a bit slow because he always wants to process information. He's a professor out there. But by landing that shot right there, it tells you that he's taking a bit of a different approach tonight. Left with a left hand counter. Back and forth we go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by Chor. He's got that jab working, nicely done. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Right on the button. Just over three minutes to go. Slip that one. has been there all night. There's another one by the Korean Super Bowl. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Dude's oh. hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's got him real good, too. Finish him, finish him. Finish him. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. Oh, he oh, hurt him again, bro. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. 
Jan gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Well, he misses with the left punch there. What a kick. That one landed. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh. Just misses with the left hook. Jan's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Back and forth we go. Flips the shot. Unable to connect with a right hook. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Time's starting to swell now. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Thirty seconds to go. The straight right is there. And that one certainly found the target. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Final seconds here. Strong five minutes down. Heading back to the corner now. Jan's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? You ready? Go Second on. round on the way. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big shot to the head. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, He's a confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elevation school. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Pyotr Young. <laughs> Right there, and that one opened up a cut. Great ground and pound by this man. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by Young. Lands to the body there. Big right hook coming is blocked. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. They're going at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. 
big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, great reversal to top position by Choi. Back to his feet. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit angry. Oh, yeah. Hurt him again. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Fader. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Lost that kick to the back. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight. Oh, my God! Oh, my goodness! With a huge knockout tonight! Jeez Louise! All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen, a huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started. A scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight